This is Tenable CyberWatch with Jaira Michael. Cyber news you can use. Good morning and thank you for joining us today on Tenable CyberWatch, cyber news you can use. I'm your host, Jaira Michael. Today is Monday, July 10th, and here's what's happening in cyber. Today we're talking all about LockBit, the world's most deployed ransomware variant last year. And next, a new report finds aligning cybersecurity to business objectives boosts revenue and lowers costs. Plus, are CISOs ready to serve on the board? What one study shows? Tenable Cyber Watch starts right now. You're watching Tenable Cyber Watch with Jaira Michael. And LockBit, the world's top ransomware threat, continues to make headlines. There have been around 1,700 LockBit ransomware attacks in the U.S. alone since 2020. Cyber agencies from several countries, the U.S., Canada, Australia, U.K., France, Germany, and New Zealand, released a joint advisory offering a deep dive into all things LockBit. The advisory covers LockBit's evolution, tools used by attackers, tactics, techniques, and procedures, exploited vulnerabilities, recommended mitigations, and trends and statistics. The LockBit operation uses a ransomware as a service model. Independent affiliates are required to carry out attacks using its tools and infrastructure. LockBit employs a wide variety of tactics, techniques, and procedures. Since 2020, LockBit ransomware attackers have extorted $91 million from U.S. organizations. A new report finds aligning cybersecurity to business objectives boosts revenue and lowers costs. That's a key takeaway from Accenture's State of Cybersecurity Resilience 2023 report. The report found that organizations with closely aligned cybersecurity programs and business objectives are 18% more likely to hit their goals for revenue growth and market share and 26% more likely to shrink the cost of cybersecurity breaches and incidents. Accenture polled 3,000 respondents for the study from companies with more than $1 billion in revenue located in 14 countries and from 15 industries. The report also gave three recommendations for boosting digital transformation with cybersecurity. Number one, require cyber controls before the deployment of new business services and products. Number two, apply cybersecurity incrementally as digital transformation milestones are attained. And number three, appoint a representative to orchestrate cybersecurity across all transformation initiatives. And as publicly traded companies look to boost their board cyber expertise, here's a million dollar question. Are their CISOs ready to become board members? The answer may surprise you. Less than half of CISOs are viable candidates for a board position with only 14% considered strong candidates. That's a recording from IONS Research, Article Search, and the CAP group titled CISO as Board Directors, CISO Board Readiness Analysis. So what makes a CISO a suitable board candidate? The study identifies several factors, including number one, having broad experience in other non-tech functions, which helps them better understand the business holistically and strategically. And number two, holding an advanced degree in areas like tech, engineering, business, or law. And that rounds up our cybersecurity snapshot for the week of July 10. For more insights and details from the snapshot, you can visit us online at tenable.com. See you all next week for more cyber news you can use. I'm Jar Michael. Thank you for tuning in. And from all of us here at Tenable, have a fantastic week. This is Tenable CyberWatch, Mondays at 9 a.m. Eastern. Kevin, uh, you're new, the floor is yours. I've been a hacker since I was eight years old. I just used to be able to steal anything I wanted, anywhere, anytime. Since Tenable won, I can't even get a payroll sheet. Oh, and, and how does that make you feel? It makes me want to cry. Well, you know, they patched that years ago, as we all know, so. It's like they know what I'm gonna do before I do it. Psychic, stupid, do it all platform. I'm never touching a computer again. Come on, guys. Just breathe, all right?